Hi, this is Alan with Max Foundry here to, to show you how to use Media Libraries Folders and Media Libraries Folders Plus. We've got it installed here and we have our Media Library open where we can see uh, what's in our what we have in our way of files. You can click on a folder and see what's in there. Let's add a new file. So you click here and this area appears where you can drag and drop files. So we'll drag some there and see what we can upload. Yes, they were uploaded. And now we can also move some files into here. Let's go find some files we can move in here. We can select several we can drag and drop together. And they're moved to the new folder and their links are updated in any poster pages. Perhaps we want to uh, create a new folder. So let's say add folder. and we go back here and there we can see our new folder has been added all right now sometimes we may not want to move uh, a, a, a file we may want to copy it so we can just click here on this toggle button and it goes over to copy and you'll notice here we have this message area here that as you put the mouse over any button it shows you the purpose of that button to help you understand how to use uh, media libraries folders. Okay, now then let's say we want to rename a file. Uh, let me uh, find a rename. Rename. And the file was renamed. We don't allow you to rename folders because you might break lots of links doing that. The general philosophy behind the way we built our plugin was to prevent mass, accidental mass deletion of, of images. So you don't lose, you can do something that you could accidentally lose them all. All right, let's see. Now we can also have this button here allows us to select all the files or unselect all at once. And we have a sync button that allows us to uh, import files that are on the server but not in the media library. Say for instance that you so you have this uh, folder here trees there's nothing in it. Let's put something in it so I can go find the folders here are trees okay I go grab some uh, images and put them there Okay, this simulates, as it, this simulates as if you had put them up there with FTP or through your uh, control panel on your uh, website. So then you can go to trees and then you want, say you want to do the sync and it will go there and find the files and add them to your media library. It says it found seven files and let's see, click on trees and there they are. So they were added to the media library. Now, uh, Media Libraries Folders Pro uh, can uh, has a better sync function. This one does only the current folders. The Pro version can sync subfolders also. And you can also regenerate thumbnails. So that if you wanted to say, I want to regenerate the thumbnails for particular for one or more images, you can simply select them and click this button and they will regenerate the thumbnails. Now we also have our sister product, uh, Max Galleria, which has uh, galleries and different layouts. And so if you want to add images to a gallery, you can simply click here and find an existing gallery in Max Galleria, then select your images and add them, and it will add them to that gallery very quickly. Uh, <clears throat> you can sort uh, the uh, display of files by name or by date, and you can search for files uh, 
here it will show you uh, you can uh, give you a list of files to click on that will take you to the file to its folder wherever it's located now if you do want to delete a folder you have to make sure it's empty first and if you have an empty folder you want to delete then just right click here and say delete this folder it will ask you if you're sure you can say yes but you can also hide a folder so let's say you want to hide a folder without deleting it you don't want it in the media library anymore you can right click and say hide this folder and it asks if you're sure and you would say okay and it will remove that folder and its contents from the media library and so that's about the capabilities of the um, media library's folders notice that we have the uh, floating file tree that floats as you move uh, uh, as you page down the, the, the page or if you want to stop it from uh, floating you can go into settings and do that we also have this feature for check for new folders since WordPress automatically generates folders uh, every uh, year and every month and so you click here it will go scan for new folders and it found a bunch so then we'll go back and we'll see that the new folders have been added. You also have a, a function that can regenerate all the thumbnails in your media library. And then another one for image SEO, if you want to have, uh, make sure that your alt tags have uh, some text in there, that uh, meaningful text in there, you can tell it to have folder name, file name, and you can give it the uh, also a title attribute for your images and you can make these settings and then you'll uh, that will automatically happen as you upload files and a support page uh, where you can uh, find some information about your system of your of your website and you uh, if necessary during us uh, having an issue with support you can copy and paste this information into an email and send it to us now switching over to Media Libraries Folders Pro, we can look at the differences here and that one thing you have is that you have uh, categories that you can uh, 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 classify your images by categories and uh, you can add categories, set categories, show the categories uh, of the images that you have in your uh, library and this is uh, compatible with the Enhanced Media Library uh, plugin so that uh, the categories you have there will also show up here. You can also uh, create a new next-gen uh, next gallery if you use next-gen through this uh, through Media Libraries Folders Pro and you can add images to a next-gen gallery. So here you can add create a new gallery by typing in a name and create gallery and here you can select images to add to an existing gallery and then they'll be added to that gallery so uh, there's not a folder interface uh, a folder tree interface for the non-pro version so you will have to use the old media library in order to add your images to post your pages but if you have the pro version then when you go to post Now, if you want to add an image to your post, you can select Add Media as normal, and it comes up with Media Library Folders Pro among the other selections that you can choose from in your uh, media uploader. And so now you have the same interface here. And you can now go find the images you want to insert. So now I want to insert this image. And then I come up here and there's an insert media button so I, I've selected it so I click insert media now it's going to load that image and its sizes so I can pick a size and then I can say what I want to link to and then I can set the alignment and then I can insert plus I can fill in the, the title and the caption and so on and then it inserts the image and if I want to add a feature image, then I come down here and we have a special link saying set MFL MLF feature image. So you click here 
and then you get this uh, screen where you can find your images. Select them and as a fit, select the one you want for your featured image. Actually, you just click on it. That's all you do as it and it loads. As it says up here, click on the image you want to use. Don't use a checkbox. That's for something else. Then you can fill in the information and then you can set, set feature image. And then there it is. We also integrate with um, WooCommerce for WooCommerce product images, but you can also add through uh, Media Libraries Folders Pro when you're in the product, when you're on the product page. That's it. I hope you enjoyed our demonstration. That's all for now.